Welcome to a new video of the parts channel, well, I'm going to record a video disassembling. Both the glass and the housing of a rear view mirror, this is from a 2003 Renault Clio, well, to start removing the glass, as in most of the vehicles, we press from the back, ok, and we put four fingers in here and push, look, there it is already strong. It is already loose, it is very simple as you can see, this one does not have cables, some have cables. Because they have heated mirrors, but not this one, okay, but it doesn't matter, since it would be removed. Just the same, okay, in most car rear view mirrors, to remove the covers, you have. To release the tabs inside, they have several tabs, okay, some have. 4, 5, most usually have 4, but you also find 5 and some. 3, okay, 1, 2, 3 and 4 tabs, which are the ones you can see. I hope they look good, you have. To release them, this mirror had already been disassembled before, I'm going to show you, here they had broken. The hidden tab, this usually happens because a lot people press with a screwdriver. Thinking that the casing comes out under pressure, without releasing the tabs and that is why they usually break it. Here they have also broken this back part, you can see there, because they did not notice that there is a tab inside, hidden, look now, to release the casing. As I say, we would press the tabs, it takes a bit of effort to release them, but you don't have to force them so as not to break them. Here you would have to put a little force on the tab, to release them and push them down, and yes it is very hard, here we could use the screwdriver to help us. But carefully, we use the screwdriver a little, but as I say here carefully too. Help us free these tabs that are a bit hard, first the ones up here. And then free we will also plow the bottom ones, we will also press with our fingers, on some occasions we will find that they are very hard and we cannot release them with our fingers. Then we would use the screwdriver, ok, but as I say, this must always be done with care. Once this part is released, look, what I'm telling you, here you can see that they had previously broken it when trying to disassemble it, but because they exerted force and didn't realize that there is a tab inside and this tab must be released with a screwdriver, from here, from the hole we can access the tab and release it. There we make a little lever, being careful not to break it and in the end we will also be able to release this last tab that holds the casing inside. And it would already be loose, now we move the screwdriver a little backwards, carefully and we have it completely freed, then we take it out carefully until we have it completely disassembled. There it would be disassembled, this is what I tell you or, I find this in many other rear view mirror models, not just the Renault Clio, in many others, because people are unaware. That some shells have a tab here and then they apply force and when they apply force, they come apart, ok, as you can see, this is not very complicated, it just requires skill and a little patience, then, to reinstall it. We have to put the tab back in here, just as it came out, it must go back. In, being careful not to damage it and in some mirrors, well, be careful also. With the springs inside, okay? Those springs are the ones that articulate the mirror. Well, we will insert it carefully, we will press with our fingers to fit the casing again. Sometimes complicates a bit, but with a little patience we will end up installing it again. As I say sometimes it gets a bit complicated, but in the end we will install it again. As I was saying, the springs will sometimes bother us a bit, as in this case and that will make us chew this a little more to install, but in the end we will achieve it, we must not force it. As I say, it is preferable to have a little patience than to break it, in the end we will end up fitting it, even if it takes a few seconds more, we will push the springs a little bit down, until that they do not bother us. If we see that we cannot place it in this way, it is preferable to release it again and reinstall it correctly, rather than force it, since it could be damaged. And as soon as we have the tabs position, we will only have to tighten it, both four. Above and below, we will have to hear the clack of the tabs when they fit, as soon as the casing is installed, we will proceed to install the rear view mirror glass. As I say, we would install, again, the rear view mirror glass, it has to fit in its position. You will know that it has fitted when you hear the clack, this will mean that it is perfectly fitted in its place, it is important that you make sure of that. 
you see that this has little difficulty and you can do yourselves, okay, well. Here you have this video, if it has been useful to you, do not forget to give a like and subscribe to the channel.